Okay, hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Victor, and I'm going to be your anchor for this series. So this is the Cisco Certified Support Technician, a networking track. Um, this is a very entry-level Cisco certification. So if you're interested in getting into networking, interested in doing DevOps, you're interested in doing cloud computing, you're interested in doing uh, cybersecurity. So this is very good fundamental for you to take care of your foundations in networking. So it's a certification that addresses uh, standard and concepts as regards the OSI model, the building blocks of uh, a network and devices, network uh, and intermediary devices, and also connecting media. How does the network connect? How is the network set up? Uh, quite a lot of protocols, plain text protocols, and also encrypted protocols. Then later on in this uh, curriculum, some of the things you should be aware of if you want to take the exam is you're addressing a subnet format. So how are addressing done with respect to DACP, with respect to NAT, with respect to ARP, and of course, what are the different address classes? So do I have class A, class A, class B, class C, class D, the reserve classes and the rest? So what are the different kinds of subnet calculators that we have that we can use to like either shrink our network, of course, expand our networks. So differentiate between supernet, subnet, netting and the rest. Then you also want to identify uh, IP version six addresses and some of the prefix formats in order to like shrink or make it smaller and easier for you to be able to handle it. Then we're also going to look at the endpoint media types, endpoint devices, and how those items connect on the network. So we're also going to look at infrastructure. So then diagnosing problems, troubleshooting, then of course, security. So these are the six models, and I've already done a summary of this on the channel. So if you check the channel a few months ago, I started this series, uh, the CCST supports certified uh, support technician. So you could go to the channel. Uh, the channel is Victor is youtube.com slash Victor Chidi, just one word, and you can get to this series. So this series, we've considered the curriculum in general. We've looked at uh, interconnected network, looked at the security module, we've looked at Internet of Things, we've looked at troubleshooting, we've looked at wireless technology, we've looked at cables and connectors. That's all the things you have on the exam modules, right? We've also looked at uh, TCP IP. Now, we've also gone ahead a few days ago to start looking at some of the exam questions, looking at some uh, uh, exams, how you could best prepare yourself for the exams, how you can tie the curriculum to making sure that you are very well prepared for the exams. Now, I'm going to continue the series and start, okay, before that, understand that the CCST exam code is 100-105, so it's a very 100 level fundamental exam. The exam is for 50 minutes. Um, you can write the exam currently in English, Arabic, Spanish, Spanish, then French, Japanese, and Portuguese. The exam is $125. Um, then uh, those are the exam questions I just reviewed earlier on. I did a more comprehensive exam overview uh, in this 26 minutes video. Now, also understand that, um, okay, one more thing. Okay, I think that's all. So just, okay, these are the six core modules for the exam, standard and concept, addressing and subnet format, endpoint and media types, infrastructure, diagnostic problems, security. Then later on in the series, uh, from next week, we're going to have in the lab sessions. The lab sessions can be for the members on the channel. So if you are new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can also share this to as many that are interested in doing cybersecurity or taking care of networking or want to do DevOps, but also want to make sure that they understand uh, networking. Uh, before the year runs out, we'll try to have a series on Linux on the channel, just Linux, either uh, Kali Linux or just plain Linux that for persons that want to do DevOps and you need to grab a hold of Linux, you want to understand Linux commands, you want to learn troubleshooting Linux, you want to learn uh, managing systems using Linux, you want to learn all of that.
right? So these are very fundamental concepts you need if you need to climb higher or maybe at tier two, tier three levels in your tech career. Now, so that's the curriculum, that's the about the exam, that's some of the series that have already been done. So you can watch the series and catch us, uh, catch up with us. Um, so we've done, we've actually currently done internet working, right? So we've done interconnecting, uh, we've done TCP IP, we've also done uh Right, we've done cable and connecting, we've done um wireless technologies, we've done security, we've done cloud and IoT, we've done troubleshooting. So we've actually done uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven models. You have them on the channel here, right? So security, internet of things, cloud. Uh, what was it called? Network troubleshooting, wireless technologies, cables and connectors, TCP IP, right? So we've done all these models currently, right? So we're trying to go from very simple, very somehow known to unknown. So in this next series, as we conclude the CCST curriculum, we're also going to go from, uh, we're going to touch on, we're going to go through network address a translation that's NAT and IP version six, how NAT comes into a network. We're also going to look at IP routing. We're going to look at switching. We're going to look at Cisco devices. Then we'll finish up with easy subnetting, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five models. And let's see how soon we can be done with this so that we can get on the labs. So right now we're going to go to module four easy subnetting. So anytime you want to set up a network or anytime you have a network, one thing you should be aware is that you are going to have different addresses. So there's what you call the uh, public address, there's what you call the private address. So these two addresses are very fundamental in us having our address, our, our network. So if I go to my command prompt and I just say, let me clear my screen, and I say, uh, and I say ipconfig slash all, You're going to see that I have quite some IP addresses here. So I have the name of the PC, right? I have some adapters here, right? I have a very first adapter here. I have another adapter here. I have another adapter. So depending on how many adapters you have in your system. Now, let me concentrate on the wireless adapter I'm using to connect to this particular network. So this is the name of the wireless adapter. It's called Wi-Fi. AX201 160 megahertz, right? So this is my MAC address. So MAC address can also be called physical address. The DSCP enabled, yes. We're going to look at some of these protocols later on. So DSCP is my dynamic host configuration protocol. That means this network was configured in such a way that the router or the access point assigns IP address to me dynamically. So there is no one IP address that is statically configured on this my device. So that anytime my device wants to connect to that router, it connects to it with the IP address. So DHCP is enabled. Then another important thing you want to look at here is the IP version six address and the IP version four address. Look at it. IP version six, IP version four. Now you see this IP address, we call it the local IP address, right? Now, anytime I say my IP address, right? If I say my IP address, somehow I'm going to get something like this. So if you push this to the right and push this to the left, right? Uh, let me see if I can shrink this. Sorry. Let me see if I can shrink. Just a second.
properties um font let me reduce the font to like 10 i hope you're able to see oh it's too small uh properties font let's take that to 18 i hope this is manageable let's take this to 24 i think 24 is manageable so now if you check very well you're going to see this ip address so this is 192.168.181.180 this is 197.211.258.104 105. So this is my public IP address. Whereas this is my what? This is my sorry, not the this is not this is my this is my IP address. This is my default gateway. Whereas this is my private IP address. So what actually happened is that you have so what actually happens is that you have a You have a system here, or let's say you have a switch. This switch is going to connect to PC1, connect to PC2, connect to PC3, right? So maybe connect through cable, connect through cable, connect through cable. Now you're going to have an access point or a router, maybe given by my ISP. Then you use a cable, you connect to this particular switch. Now this access point, maybe you can have a CPE, right? A consumer premise equipment that is like a radio, it connects to a mast, or it can be fiber optics connected to a, a system that now is connected to the router. So everybody at home can connect wirelessly, maybe our TV, our phones, we can connect to this particular system. Whereas the PCs can connect to this switch and this switch is connected to this, access point what's going to happen is that this access point of this router is going to have what we call dhcp and is going to use that to dynamically assign ip address to this guy to this guy to this guy right all the items you have on the network now the thing is that this cp is going to be connecting to let's say a radio or a mast Right, so you have a standing tower, a mast by my ISP. This guy is going to be connecting to it. Now, everybody that is going to be on this network is going to be using one external IP address or one public IP address, right? But this router is going to, which is my gateway my default gateway is going to have an IP address that is assigned to it by the manufacturer. 